Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. And it's time for this week's STEAM series, our focus, math and science. You're about to meet an exotic snake breeder. No, no, back in. At a strip mall in Fountain Valley, a trip back in time. Nothing like feeding the dinosaurs. They come in all shapes and sizes. The creatures that inhabit this space run the gamut. Some quite adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> others are terrifying. Where are you going? <laughs> you just kind of learn which animals are which, and you kind of work around their personalities. This is the reptile zoo inside a pet shop called Prehistoric Pets. If you look at some of these animals, they're like living dinosaurs. They got scales on them, they got big teeth, cold blooded. Yet every single one of them occupies a warm spot in Jay Brewer's heart. Reptile Zoo is an outgrowth of Jay's childhood passion. When I was young, I was far from rich, <laughs> very poor. While friends were playing with brand new toys, I would go hunt for snakes and catch lizards and frogs. Eventually, Jay opened prehistoric pets and started doing something unique exotic snake breeding. They come in all sizes and a multitude of colors. Orange ones, white ones, speckled ones. We have literally produced about 250 colors of snakes that never existed on the planet Earth. It took a lot of time and a lot of planning. Of all the steam disciplines, snake breeding relies most on science and math, the science of genetics and the numbers that underlie it to get a particular color pattern. You have to figure out like, okay, if I breed this to this, it's gonna be one in four. If I breed this to this, it's one in 16. Sometimes. You can get four in a row to be exactly what you're looking for, or you can get four without ever seeing what you want. So I usually know my odds. The more rare the color pattern, the higher the numbers can go. Before you know it, you have to have 140. If I'm hunting for the one in 140, it's gonna take 140 eggs just to get one of them. While I get there, there's gonna be all different kinds of beautiful snakes on the way. Sometimes mutations are completely unexpected. This baby reticulated python was born without eyes, so he navigates his world by using sensors on his tongue. Jay can relate to having to navigate differently. I did horrible in school, I had a lot of learning disabilities, and luckily I figured out that learning disabilities are probably just a gift because you're probably focused Somewhere where you can be really good. Gomer's ready to go. When he's not breeding snakes, Jay tends to the alligators, iguanas, and other cold blooded creatures. He also invites visitors to come in and meet them. I want to share my passion of reptiles with as many people as I can. Jay has been scratched and he has been bitten, but he has no regrets about the career path he's chosen. It's the excitement. Oh, hey, hey, give me my dog's back. <laughs> well, what I always say is whatever you're good at, you better pay attention. You can't go all the way over there. You'll tear the whole place down. Life is full of danger, but it's also full of adventure. So cool. Now, if you want to visit Jay and the Creatures at Reptile Zoo or learn more about STEAM careers, go to kcal9.com slash STEAM.